Okay, uh, this tutorial is uh, is all about uh, uh, changing an artwork or a document that you've done in Corel Draw, changing it to PDF. Okay, uh, people don't know this, but even though you don't have Adobe Acrobat Professional, you can still make your documents or any artwork in Corel Draw as a PDF because Corel Draw 3 has a built-in PDF maker or stuff like that. So I've got a flyer here which is uh, eight and a half by eleven, and uh, so I've done this uh, in Corel Draw. And what I'm gonna do now, I want to give this out to my, say my clients. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to convert this into a PDF. A PDF. So first, after saving the file, you go to File. Okay, publish to, to PDF. Okay, publish to PDF here. When you click on that, you're going to have this dialog box here. Okay. Now, okay, say I'm going to save it here. Okay, I'll just put here promo with links. And in this PDF style, you can choose which kind of PDF do you want to be. Do you want to make it? Okay, you can make it PDF for editing, which what which we don't want because you know we don't them to edit it. So what we're gonna choose here is a PDF for the web, because we're going to distribute it through email. So when you click on PDF for the web, and click on save. Sorry, before going to save, click on settings first. Okay, so when you click on settings here, uh, just leave the default here. Uh, what I'm gonna show you here is the security. So in security, say for example you have some price list over there, and you want so you don't want uh, you want it password protected. So what you can do here, you click on open password. Okay, next to say when you open the password, uh, the PDF, uh, the person who's opening it should type in a password. So I'm just gonna put my password here. And then confirm password. Okay. And then click OK. But it's really up to you. If you want the PDF not password protected, then just leave this blank. And then click OK. Okay. Then I'll just click on save here. So it's converting right now. And okay. So our document was converted to PDF already. Now uh, I'm going to open it to. To Acrobat you can do the profession uh, if you have the professional then open it but if you have the free Adobe Acrobat reader that's fine it still works the same so you go I'm going to file I'm gonna open it okay I'm just going to open it here okay that's my that's my PDF and then if you notice if you click on details here it's such a small file it's 11 uh, it's 112 kilobytes because we save it save the PDF for the web so that's fine and then click open oops so you notice here since you put a password in that PDF now I can when I open it I have to put on the password so I'm just gonna put down my password and just wait and there you go so it's a PDF version of my artwork in Corel Draw. It looks exactly the same as in the Corel Draw file that I have and uh, it works fine. So you don't need to buy Adobe Acrobat Professional if you have Corel Draw X3. Okay, so we've got that first part now. Now I'm going to talk to you uh, talk more about changing what if I'm gonna explain I'm gonna let's go back to the artwork I am in I'm in Corel Draw right now and let's say for example here okay I've got the website www.clickscience.ca okay what if I want a PDF which when people mouse over the PDF it has a link and it goes to the the browser or the link or the website so what I'm gonna do is you click on the it doesn't need to be text. It can be objects. It can be images. Uh, say, for example, I want to link this text to the actual website, which is www.clickscience.ca. So what you're going to do is going, you, you right mouse click on it, and you go to properties. Okay. So when you click on properties, you're going to have a dialog box here in the right side. Okay. So what I want you to do, while 
while still selecting the www.clicksense.ca, in here there's an icon for internet. So you click that and the URL here, okay? The URL should always start as HTTP colon slash slash, okay? Then I'll put here www.clicksigns.ca, okay? That means to say when, when the PDF opens and it's going to have a highlight, it doesn't have a highlight, but it's going to have a hotspot. So, okay, I'll just refresh this one. And if you notice, every time we put a link on the properties, there's going to be a, a highlight. Like right now, it has that red uh, crosshatch thing. So that means to say it's a link. Now, for example, here, I'm going to go to this full colored printed canvas. Okay, like I said, it doesn't need to be text. It can be images too. So for example, here, I have this image of the colored printer banners, including the text. What I'm going to do, right mouse click, go to properties. Okay, uh, let's go back here. Okay, right mouse click, you have to select it and properties. And you go back to the, uh, the link here for the internet. And I'm just going to, okay. So I'm going to put here clicksigns.ca slash banners dot html okay so i go back and uh, and notice there's a crosshatch there but it doesn't mean to say when i change this to pdf it's going to have that crosshatch image because that's only uh like an indication that you have a linked linked file there when you export it as pdf okay so you can do it with other other links with other images or text. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to convert it to PDF. So file, publish to PDF, and we're going to have a PDF. Okay, I'm just going to put here number two. Okay, promo with links two, and then click on PDF for the web and go to settings. Now here in settings, if I go to, okay, here. If I go to document and it says here include hyperlinks, that should be checked. Let me say all the links, hyperlinks in my CorelDRAW properties, you know, the objects will have that uh, that links to in PDF and then click OK. Open the file, PDF file. OK, so I open it. Okay, which is actually this one here. Okay, now, like I said, since we make this as a link, okay, I'll just move, I'll just zoom in here. But I know I put a link here in in Corel Draw. See here, there's nothing going on. But when I go here, see it's a hotspot. Okay, if I click on it, it would says open a web in a browser, and then I'll just okay, and see it goes to the website website that I just put the link in which is that one okay now let's go down to the, the bottom part of the image remember we put a hyperlink here and see there's a hand there which is a hyperlink and click OK just allow here and it goes to the home page of clickscience.ca which is the hyperlink so so that's it for the tutorial. So that's a uh, that's a really good um, uh, feature in Corel because you know you can save money by not buying uh, the professional Acrobat.